I couldn't really say how long it really took me to recover or even how many operations I've had. It's probably now somewhere over a hundred operations. Um, so I've been through quite a lot and it took me, you know, many years, I would say, to recover. My name's Helen Dolphin. I live in Norwich in England and I'm married to my husband Paul. I've lived here for about 10 years and I originally moved here to work for Anglian News as a TV reporter and about mm, four years ago I changed jobs and I now work for a charity called Disabled Motoring UK. I've been a swimmer since as long as I can remember really, I think I probably started when I was about four or five with my parents thinking it would be a good idea for us to learn to swim. When I was 22 years old, I contracted meningococcal septicemia, which is the blood poisoning form of meningitis. I couldn't say what strain it was like some people can because it was so late that I was actually diagnosed that it was too late to perform any kind of um, test and I was just given antibiotics straight away. So there was no, I couldn't say whether I had B, C, which are the common strains in this country. Uh, a lot of people think that it's worse to have meningitis and septicemia, but it's actually worse to have what I had, which was septicemia alone, because the symptoms are so similar to things like flu that it takes you know, a lot for a doctor to actually pick it up. And in my situation, I actually saw um, two doctors who thought, the first one thought I think it was flu, and the second one thought I had food poisoning. And so by the time I saw a third doctor, I'd already been quite ill for 24 hours. So by the time I actually got to hospital, it was really late in the day for me. And that's why the disabilities I've got are so severe. I think the sort of first impressions when you turn up at my house is that there's not really that much that would separate it from someone's house that lived there that wasn't disabled. I don't know if you noticed when you came to the front door, but I've got, there's like a little keypad because I obviously can't use keys, so I have a little number code to get into the house. And then there's, you know, my shower, I've got a little seat in there, and then in the kitchen I've got a hob which you can raise up and down so I can cook. So I cook sitting down because it's difficult to stand and cook, and we have it that can raise up, and so then my husband can cook standing up. Apart from that, there's really very little in my house, which is quite a good thing because with my job I have to travel quite a lot, and I have to, be yeah, when, when I go to hotels, I have to be able to cope when I get there. If I go out to dinner, I have to be able to use normal cutlery. So although there's loads of things out there which can help you, I can't go everywhere and take it all with me, so I have to just be able to manage. Basically, uh, anybody can drive my car. You can drive my car in a completely normal way. There's, you don't have to use the annotations that I have, which of course is quite important when my husband and I share driving. Um, I have basically adaptations which are kind of fixed onto it. I have a push-pull accelerator, which means that I have a lever which I pull to accelerate and I just push it to brake. And then I just steer like anyone else would steer. Um, I have a few things in my headrest, like the indicators, windscreen wipers, horn. So they're, they're all operated by my head and I've had the handbrake changed, so it's a, a press button. So apart from, you know, it's actually quite simple things which have enabled someone like myself to drive. When I first um, got in a pool again after I'd become disabled, I actually went straight to the bottom because it, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be and I was sort of splashing around and I, I couldn't even get to the, the surface. It's just luck really that I popped up again. And I then joined a club in Norwich when I moved here and I was swimming probably about three times a week but since uh, last year I've been swimming practically every day.